one late winter night, you can't sleep. While your mother is fast asleep, you decide to move into the living room. You found a strange old book by the fireplace and decided to read it. It came upon a Christmas Eve not so long ago. A beast deformed in stature walked out from the snow. Its eyes were sharp and wild, jagged teeth like shards. It went from house to house, leaving footprints in the yards. Glancing into windows, warm with light and life, it was here to reconcile an old and bitter strife. It had a bag that screamed and cried as it dragged it on the ground. An awful thing, just an awful thing, to have to hear that sound. It threw its nose into the air and began to sniff and snort. The demon was onto something, but what? I can't report. You could smell its breath of rot and discontent. The chains that draped its frame made its spine look broke and bent. The wind, it howled in vain to warn the people of this beast. Its cries went unregarded as people sat before their feast. The demon ceased its searching when it came upon my house. I did my best to hide and stay as quiet as a mouse. I walked back into the shadows, in the corner of my room, voiceless, breathless, terrified. What was that thing of gloom? I heard it leap onto the deck and dropped its sack upon the floor, a resounding thud, caked in mud, it wasn't crying anymore. Little boy, he found your city and is now looking for you. 
first date. I left my room and crept down the stairs to see if it got in, hoping it wasn't that demon who they said would eat my skin. It stood before the fireplace. The front door was wide opened. I don't know how this thing got in, but I had nowhere left to hide. its face from the fire with a scowl you'd have to see. The demon had a quarrel all right, and the quarrel was with me. It pulled out from its pocket of its robe, all blacked and charred, a burning piece of paper, and it handed me its card. The card read only Krampus before I felt its claws upon my throat. Happen. I need to find something. with other kids set for some place remote. We were bad and didn't listen to our parents and their orders. We broke a lot of rules and disrespected borders. Now old Krampus has us and he'll probably sell us off as food. This is what you get when you're whiny, mean, or rude. Now have a Merry Christmas and do as you've been told, lest you wind up in a demon bag being dragged upon the road. Little boy, he found. Sleeping. 